Welcome to this video on setting up a multi-page layout in CorelDRAW. In this example, we'll create a letterhead, a business card design, and a custom envelope, all within the same document. First, open CorelDRAW and create a new document. Since we will be starting with the letterhead, select Letter as the page size, and then set the color mode to RGB. Make sure that the orientation is Portrait, and then click OK. Next, import the graphics. In this example, the company logo, name, and address have already been created and they're saved in CDR format. For more information on designing a logo for your business, please visit our tutorial on how to create an effective logo in CorelDRAW. By placing the graphics off to the side of the main workspace, they'll be accessible on multiple pages. So in this example, I'll move this content over to the left. Double-click the Rectangle tool to create a border around the page. Next, select the graphics and use the key combination Control and the letter D on your keyboard to duplicate that content. If you haven't yet set the options for duplicating, a message will pop up to allow you to specify where copied content will be placed. Since that isn't relevant for this project, you can just click OK to that message to continue. Move the graphics onto the workspace and make sure that they're grouped. To do this, with the object selected, use the key combination control and the letter G on your keyboard, or select Group from the Arrange menu. If the design elements are already grouped, such as in this example, that option will appear grayed out. To ensure that the logo is properly centered, click on the group that you've just created, and then, while holding down the Shift key on your keyboard, select the page border. Now, pressing the letter C on your keyboard will automatically center those graphics to the middle of the page. To create a line separator, from the standard toolbar, select the two-point line tool. Next, draw a horizontal line roughly two-thirds of the width of the page. In this example, we'll make our line one point in thickness, and we'll put some arrowheads on each end for show. Center the line below the graphics by selecting the line, holding down the Shift key on your keyboard, selecting the page border, and then once again pressing the letter C on your keyboard. This will move the line to the middle of the page. When everything has been centered, you can click on the border and then delete it. Next, we'll create the business card page. In order to create different page sizes within one document, you must first make sure that the current page button in the interactive properties bar has been selected. By pressing this button, you're telling CorelDRAW that the page size that you've selected is only applicable to the current page that you're working on. Click on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen to add page to. You can set the page size either by entering 3.5 by 2 inches or selecting business card from the preset page size drop-down list. Once again, duplicate the graphics content and then you can resize the components to complement the size of the page. You can ungroup the components by going to the Arrange menu and selecting Ungroup. This way, you can select just one component of the design, in this case the sailboat, and make it larger, so that it better fits the shape of the business card. Now if you return to page 1, you'll see that that 8.5 by 11 inch letter page size has remained intact. Now we can create the envelope page. A standard business size envelope can be chosen by selecting envelope number 9 from the preset page sizes. Similar steps can be applied to create an envelope that were used to create the business card. Once again, we'll copy the content onto the page and resize it accordingly. In this example, we'll use the graphics to create a return address and add a small rectangle in the upper right hand corner to indicate the area where the stamp will be placed. Once again, if you select page 2, you can see that it has remained 2 by 3.5 inches or business card size, and page 1 is still in letter size and this is possible because of how the current page button was selected earlier. When printing from a multi-page document containing different page sizes, it's important to remember to specify which part of the document you'll be printing. From the print window, make sure to select current page. That way, you'll be able to set up the print job accordingly for that part of the document. 
For example, printing a sheet of business cards will use very different settings in Print Preview than, say, stationery or envelopes would. Documents containing different page sizes are a great way to keep organized and make sure that all of the branding on your office stationery is consistent. Thank you for watching this video on setting up multi-page layouts in CorelDRAW.